Hi everyone, it's Roger here from DizKingdom.com and I'm just going to show some gameplay footage here of Boba Fett for um, Disney Infinity 3.0. He is part of the um, Saga Bundle which is available exclusively on PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 um, through launch. And then in um, January it will be released as a single character. So his home playset set is the Rise of the Empire but he can also be used in Twilight and Republic to find the um, crossover coin and also you'll be able to use him in the new Force Awakens playset. So as you can see I have him all fully leveled up but I don't have his skill tree done up but let's jump into that straight away. Ooh, wrong one. I'm going to go into skill tree and let's see what we've got here. So we have some health boosts on the first one so we have um, mid-air recovery and take to the sky which allows him to fly in the toy box he can't fly in the play sets. We also have some quick thinking which allows him to block a range of attacks. We have some help team players and some health options over here and some more helping hands over here. Now I'm going to be honest, I don't tend to use these um, options too much because um, I, I'm i going to be honest, I don't tend to use to try and help people out. I want my enemy to be, as, well, my guys to be as strong as possible. So here we have some different options. So we have rocket fire, which um, fires a straight shot from the rocket. Okay, so we have some power disc options here, something I'm not particularly too interested in. Um, speedy upgrade increases the speed he upgrades, so I'm going to grab that one. And this increases the damage it does. Um, we have a special move bonus, so I'm going to go for that one. And so here we have some options here to um, split into multiple attacks, so I'm going to go for that and give it a bit of a boost up. And we have some more damage controls. So I want to make it as powerful as possible, and then this increases the speed on this side. So in the melee skills, so you want to um, increase the damage increased by his, his combo attack. I'm continuing holding triangle to make Bob jump into the air and juggle an enemy. That is awesome. I'm going to do that one and increase the damage of this. So on this side here, we have the breaking defenses level one. So this is um, I'm going to go for that one. And so we've got some some more options here. So an air soap. So you can this is the thing that Ninja Fury have added in is more combinations rather than just tapping triangle. If you do a little delay between some of them, you will get extra options. And then we have Boba Fett, and um, we have his range skills. So this is his attack with his blaster, so I'm gonna max that one out. Um blast skill levels increases the amount he can shoot. So I've done that to level 1 and 2, so that means he can shoot now a lot more. Off the hook, he can use a grappling target to pull forward. Target acquired, which um, is I think that's more um, use of his weapons there. And then we have here, blast increases the rate of his fire gun. Now like I said, I am very much into um, making sure my guy is, so I've used up all my points there. And then finally, this is an overview. He shows he can. He's a super jumper. Actually, is he a super jumper? And he's also a technic a, and a flyer. So we've got some more. So now these are all going to come in. So as you can see, whenever you buy something, you get all these options coming through. And it also shows you how to do them as well. All right. So I'm just going to go back into that skill tree. I didn't see the jumping option. Take to higher ground by leaping and exploring. Hmm. It says he's a, he's a super jumper, but and he's a villain. Okay. I was gonna say I don't see his super jump option on his on the menu actually, so that's a bit odd. He's a flyer anyway, so it doesn't matter. So as you can see, he doesn't jump too far, but then he can once he can fly. So that's he's the only flyer of the Star Wars character, so we that for me is automatically gonna put him into toy box builder. I'm probably going to be using him a lot in the toy box. You can see while you are flying, he can shoot a gun. Those skills are still opening up. So you can see him flying around quite happily. He was the only flyer really from the launch range of Disney Infinity. A little bit less of the flying characters that we saw so far um, in the launch range. But that's not a bad thing. So I'm going to be using him a lot as a toy box builder, I think. 
the f he's going to become my new Iron Man, I think. Right, so let's put down some enemies for him to try out, and let's see how what those options unlock. So let's put down some frost giants. Put that away. Right, okay. So first off, we have bird pro we can shoot here from far away. Get the sound, so I'm trying to just stay in the way. Far away, that works out pretty well. Obviously you can fly. Fly up here like so, you can then also use it to far. Great range character. I like that. Stuff in the past, so he's pretty cool for that. Right, up close, he can use um, a number of options. So you know, I'm fighting the way. Beat me. You cannot win. Nothing more than credits to Time to collect. You can do a ground pound. All the packs, at least. That's always a cool one of my go to moves. Okay, so now, let's see if he's charged up. Then there we go. There's his special move. He shot off. Um, a rocket from his backpack. So that's his other punch there. So you can com combine these together to kind of make a combination. So there we go. So that is Boba Fett in all his glories. And like I said, I think he's a really cool character. When you do get him, you unlock the poster for the interior and you also get the pounds person as well that you can use. Continuing the friend, so there we go. But there we go, that was a quick just first look at Boba Fett. So, as I said, he is exclusive to PlayStation for the first couple of months, but he will be available in January 2016 as a single character that you want to pick up. And personally, for me, he is just an awesome just character. And I love the fact he's very, very different from the other Star Wars characters, um, especially like. Um, a lot of the lightsabers and sort of Jedi's and stuff. He's a flyer and a far away, so he's he's still pretty cool. Easily one of my favourites. Anyway, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I shall see you guys in another video, and I shall see you guys later. And may the force be with you.